Hi everybody, Aaron Anto here. And today we're going to be talking about the Hyperdeck Shuttle and how it connects to the FS-100. So the Hyperdeck Shuttle just came out this year and it is the smallest uncompressed video recorder on the market. It records 10-bit uh, 422 color space. It has a built-in lithium ion polymer battery, um, HDMI, SDI pass-through connectors, uh, and records onto solid-state drives. So we're going to unbox this and then we'll hook it up to the camera and I'll also talk to you about some notes about how they both interact with each other. All right, let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, so we have a software and manual. We have a uh, getting started pamphlet. And here is the Hyperdeck shuttle. So it's uh, really solidly built. Um, it's just one nice solid piece of metal and uh, yeah, this thing is not going to break on you. Uh, on this side we have the uh, play, record, power, fast forward, rewind, display buttons. Um, it's nice and flat and even. Uh, the buttons feel real good as well. Um, on this side is where you insert the SSD. And then on this side is where you have your USB, your SDI, your HDMI, and uh, power connector. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get your HyperDeck is to format the SSD to work with it. Now Blackmagic decided to use the HFS Plus file format uh, to work with this, uh, which means that if you're on a PC, you're going to need to purchase MediaForce Mac Drive or Paragon's HFS Plus to be able to view and format the drive for use. Now that you properly formatted the SSD for use, you can insert it into the HyperDeck shuttle. Once it's inserted, go ahead and turn on the power. If it's properly formatted, you'll see that the uh, SSD light will illuminate green. Then we can hook up the HDMI cable to it, the other end to the camera. Now if you're getting a compatible video signal from the camera, the video light will illuminate green on the HyperDeck. So one little quirk with the FS100, when you connect it to the HyperDeck shuttle, is that you must set the video out to be 1080i, not 1080p. Otherwise, the HyperDeck shuttle will not recognize the signal. But rest assured, even though you have 1080i selected on HDMI, it is recording in 1080p. Once you're done recording, you can take out the SSD from the HyperDeck, insert it into your docking port, and then copy the files over into your computer. For me, I'm using Adobe CS5, which means that I can easily import the footage and start editing right away.